Building a Hackintosh from scratch, that is, installing Mac OS X on non-Mac hardware, has never been easier. Here's how it works. What you'll need. Before you get started building your Hackintosh, you will, of course, need a few supplies. First, the hardware. There's no such thing as a definitive Hackintosh build, and you can find plenty of hardware that will run OS X using this or a similar method, but we're not going to dive into every possible option here. Instead, I've put together a list of the hardware I'm using and that I can guarantee runs like a dream, or at least it does for me. You can find links on Lifehacker, but as a quick overview, in my build I'm using this Antex Sonata 3 case with a 500 watt power supply, an Asus P7P55DE Pro motherboard, an EVGA GE Force 9500 video card, an Intel Core i7 2.8 GHz processor, four 2 GB sticks of RAM for a total of 8 GB, an OCZ Vertex series solid state drive, a second internal hard drive, and a DVD writer. In all, the subtotal on Newegg for all that hardware for me was $1,123.92. Skip the SSD and the second set of RAM, and you've still got a solid machine for $828.92. Once you've got all your hardware, you'll need to assemble your computer. Putting together the hardware for your Hackintosh is just like building any other computer from scratch. You mount the motherboard to your case, install your CPU, your RAM, graphics card, storage, and optical drive, and plug in all the necessary cables. It's always a good idea to read over your motherboard's instruction manual, but if you want a little more help, search Lifehacker for our first timer's guide to building a computer from scratch. The only thing you need to know is that you shouldn't plug your SATA drives into the off-white SATA ports at the bottom of the board. All the rest should work fine. Now for the software. On the software end of the spectrum, you'll need a few things. Apart from the obvious, the Snow Leopard install DVD, You'll need to download some files that contain the tools that will let you install OS X on your machine. The method I'm using to install OS X on our Hackintosh this time around is a new one by a guy called Tony Mac x 86 and it's really great. I've added direct links to the downloads in the post, but all credit goes to Tony Mac for the dead simple tools. Here's all the software you'll need. A Mac OS X 10.6 install DVD, which you can buy from Apple. A Mac OS X 10.6.4 combo update, also downloadable from Apple, iBoot from Tony Mac, MultiBeast also from Tony Mac, and a handful of other post-installation files which you can download from a link on Lifehacker. I'd suggest downloading everything you need now and putting MultiBeast, the Mac OS X combo update, and the post-installation files on a thumb drive. At this point, you should have assembled your PC and have all the software you'll need to install OS X on your Hackintosh. Now it's time for the fun, and surprisingly easy part, 